They first met seven years ago while on tour with the Wiggles and since then they've been inseparable. We're of course talking about the man in the red skivvy, Simon Price and former Dorothy the Dinosaur turned personal trainer Lauren Hannaford and the pair celebrated a milestone moment this year, their first wedding anniversary. And Simon Price and Lauren Hannaford join us now live. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. Congratulations on that anniversary. But Simon, oh, you're looking great and you've just got back from a tour in Canada doing four shows a day. Yes. Incredible. How yeah. are you feeling? <laughs> I'm a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I feel great actually. Canada was amazing. It was about a seven week tour. Yeah, three and four shows a day, day after day, uh, on the road, mm. touring away. But. Um, you know, it was great. I uh, got into a really good routine of exercise and shows and the whole kind of balance is really good for me over there. Yeah, for sure. Um, Lauren, you used to be in the band. You were Dorothy, of course, and you were always on tour with them. Um, Simon is away nine to ten months of the year. Yeah. How challenging is that for you guys as, as newlyweds? Uh, well, we manage it pretty well because we, we communicate really well and uh, we use a lot of phone data and <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness for technology. Uh, but we talk all the time and, and if Simon's uh, in a city for maybe more than three days, I'll try and get over wherever that may be, fly over and spend some time together. Yeah, we manage it the best we can. But yeah. communication, as you know, is the key to this yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. And just, um, you know, if... I'm awake and Lauren's asleep because of times. I'll always message you and tell her what I'm doing during the day so she wakes up and she knows what I've done. And It's just that constant just communication. Just feel part of it together. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's cool. about. Uh, now, speaking of marriage, we saw mm. uh, Lockie and Emma, sadly, mm. their breakup recently. They've been very vocal about it. But how has that been on the group? Well, it's absolutely fine. The incredible thing is it's, it's like uh, it's business as usual with the Wiggles and uh, it's like nothing's ever happened at all. I'm sure it's very uh, challenging for them at times, but they're incredibly professional mm -hmm. and uh, they're getting through it and the shows go on and it's been really successful. So. Well, you never stop either, Lauren. You've got HFIT up and running, your new project. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about that. So uh, that's been going for a while now. Simon's uh, just finishing up the Phase 3 12-week program, yes. so he's been very committed to that. I did that through a lot of the Canada, the whole Canadian tour. Right? Yeah. He lost a bit of weight, nearly got yeah. blown down the street. In the <laughs> today, you know. <laughs> but I'm just about to start a, a, a 12-week summer challenge kicking off the 1st of December, So, uh, which is a whole mix of all the different levels of workouts and meal guides and mm -hmm. everything's online and... Yeah, it's going really well. It's really good. Because I must admit, I do follow you on Instagram. So yeah. those exercises, they look great, but they look pretty hard. How have you found it, Simon? Well, it's challenging, but that's the point. And mm. you want to get fit or lose weight, whatever you want to do. It's a challenge, right? And it's, and it's hard. And, it's, and it... And it test you and does all those things but Loz's mm. workouts they're all the initial ones are 15 minutes and they build to 30 and 45 so you kind of grow with it mm. so it's a shock at first but then you find that you kind of can't go without it you want to do it yeah. you feel better you feel fitter you feel mm. lighter yeah. you know stronger the whole thing you're in mm. phase three now what yeah. works best for you Simon are you a morning trainer or after yeah morning, morning but I've got to work it out the night before when I'm going to do it okay I have to set it yeah. and yeah. commit to it and go all right this is my time slot for doing the program for yeah. working out and then mm. do it and it's mm. great when you've got it's all set out for you yeah and you, you you're you, you know, I don't want to upset myself by not doing it yeah <laughs> so it is I about that commitment it it. isn't it yeah and it's consistency mm. really. and yeah. it's, oh, it's good. good discipline too mate. yeah it great. is it's mm. it's great and even three and four shows a day it's I get tired but it's no excuse not to because I'm gonna be tired from the show you know you still do it you get up you do it you feel better you sure move on. but as you mm. said it's all about putting it in the diary and then it having is. to stick to it yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. And you look incredibly strong, Lauren, but I just have to ask, who would win in a push-up contest? <laughs> <laughs> There's no question. You don't need to finish the, finish the question. That was beats me every single time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got, on, I've, got, I've got a fitness test on there. So you do 30 seconds and you test your, like, how many push-ups you can do. And we've just done it recently mm. and I, I did win it, I have to say. Oh, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Always great to talk to you guys. Great guys. Simon, great to have you back in the country too. Good awesome. Thank, Thank you, you. guys. Uh, to find out more about Lauren's HFIT Summer Challenge and how you can get involved, please head across to our website.